So I'm going to perform a basic live migration. Uh, I have my host configured already. If I look at my Hyper-V settings, I'm using Kerberos. I can have two simultaneous live migrations and I have a specific network defined. So this is coming on my source host. On my target, I have essentially the same configuration, Kerberos 2 and the same IP subnet. And they both have a separate live migration network that I have to use for my live migration. You can see I have my live migration NIC. If I look at the properties, you can see I have IP address of 10.1.2.1 and on my other box, I have the same network with 10.1.2.2 IP address. I have my Kerberos delegation configured for each box. If I look at my so in my servers, on my BFS08 for delegation, I have delegated Kerberos only to my target, so I can send to my target server for Microsoft virtualization, migration service. And likewise, I've done delegation the other way, so I can remotely initiate migrations in either direction. Now I have a virtual machine, um, Savdel XPO1 that I have a remote connection to. You can see it here. To prove it is the same VM, if I look at my networking, it says the IP address is 192.168.1.29. If I look inside this VM, it's 192.168.1.29. And the whole point is this should migrate without any interaction or loss of connectivity. So I want to kick off a migration. So I've got my Hyper-V manager and actually get to start a little network trace in case sometimes when it's nice to go back and see the network that it's doing stuff on, but really not, obviously not necessary. I can select it, I can select move, action from the context or the action over here. I'm gonna to wanna to move the machine, not perform a storage migration. My target, move everything to a single location. Browse to where I wanna create that virtual machine. Hit finish. And it's now starting to go form that move. It's doing some checking, looking at what it can do. You can see the status. If I look at my network, once it actually gets going, I should start seeing some network bandwidth actually being used over there. As you can see a big chunk being sent for the storage migration on the receiving box. I can see it's creating that disk and it's receiving the traffic. So this is just a storage migration at this perspective point. So it's doing that. But at this point, the VM is still running. I can use the VM, I can play badly at Minesweeper. It's still fully usable. So I can do whatever I want. It's still running it. In the background, it's copying the storage while I'm still using the VM. There's no disconnection at this point. Once it finishes the storage migration, so it's still doing that, it will then actually then kick in and start moving the memory over. So it will keep the storage synchronized, it will copy the memory over and then do a switch. So actually come back to this in a second. So now I can see it's now switched over to my live migration network. And it's doing more operations. It's basically half a gig. It's really ramping up the traffic now. And it basically, that was where it copied the memory. So that very, very rapid burst of copying the memory over my live migration network. And I'm still connected to my VM. I've lost nothing. And that was a shared nothing live migration. And the VM is now actually running on this target storage. It's now running on this other Hyper-V box. If I look at my settings, that VM 
is connected to that target path I specified. And again, there was no downtime to that virtual machine. I'm still connected, nothing has happened. And we saw that burst of memory going over that live migration network. And again, if I actually went and looked at the network trace, I would see a ton of packets all going over that live migration network when it was actually doing the migration of the memory in sort of device state. So that was a shared nothing live migration. I mean, essentially no downtime to the VM whatsoever and didn't get disconnected. And in probably about a minute, and that copied the storage, the memory, device state, and everything. It was uh, literally that easy.